What's up guys, this is Chris, back with another video. The Pelagic Bite has been on fire lately, guys. They have completely invaded the bay, and today we're gonna be talking about this guy. Today I'm gonna be sharing some tips, tricks, and lures with you guys on how to catch a Spanish mackerel. All right, so what I have laid out here on the table are some things that I personally use to target Spanish mackerel, and I wanna share them with you so you guys can target Spanish mackerel and be more successful on the water. All right, so the first lure I have here is the gotcha lure. It's a great lure you can utilize for Spanish mackerel. Sharp hooks, puts off a great shine in the water. A lot of you may be very familiar with the gotcha lure. It darts through the water, has good action. Um, the only thing with the gotcha lure is they can get pretty expensive. You know, when, when you're fishing for the Spanish mackerel, you don't want to have too much slack in your line because they will bite you off, especially if you're using mono leader um, attached to this. So let's move on to the next thing and we'll show you some more. So the next thing I have here is a spec jig. You may be wondering, a spec jig for Spanish mackerel? Yeah, you can use specific baits for specific fish for all kinds of different species. But this is a spec jig. They're very low profile. They actually come in a tandem rig from Walmart. I believe they're about $1.39, $1.50. You can cut them up, use them as singles, or you can use the tandem rig. I've used both. What I recommend, let it sink all the way to the bottom reel in pretty quickly while jigging but you don't want to have too much slack in the line because like i said earlier with the gotcha rig they will bite you off if you have too much slack in your line and here guys this shows that these work we put this one to great use so they do work for the max all right so one of my favorite ways to target spanish mackerel is either using live thread fins or live pilchards or even cut bait guys you can cut them by the head cut them in you know the middle and then just throw the chunks on there and throw it out there just like you would a live bait. But the most important thing when you're doing that is one of these guys, a long shank hook. You know, when you're using the monofilament leader here like I have rigged up, it's gonna keep them fr from getting up on this leader and breaking you guys off. So it's a very important thing when you're using, when you're fishing for the Spanish mackerel with cut bait or live bait. So like I was saying earlier guys, one of the most important things to live bait or cut bait fishing for Spanish mackerel is the hook. Right here I got Eagle Claw, it's a long shank hook, and here I got my buddy. He's going to demonstrate why it's so important to use the long shank hook. So see, when they strike guys, they strike to upwards of 35 miles an hour. So let's say he strikes this going 35 miles an hour, that hook's all the way in his mouth. That leader is not touching those teeth, and as you see, those teeth are extremely sharp, so he'll go right through that monofilament leader at 35 miles an hour. So that's the long shank hook. Now let's show you just a normal live bait hook. Now this has some wire on it, but let's pretend that it had mono, or monofilament. So let's say he hits this going 35 miles an hour. You only got that much room, guys, and that wire is already in his mouth, and it's going to break off. Like I was saying, the most important thing is the long shank hook. It can go a lot deeper into his mouth without getting broken off. All right guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video on tips and tricks to how to catch more Spanish mackerel. Do you have any last words, buddy? For the life of me, like, comment, and subscribe to the page for more. Thank you.